scanning a vehicle in OBD2. In OBD2 mode, you will note the VIN number and the vehicle make. You will not see an odometer, hours, PTO, ESN. If you wish to have the odometer recorded on any printouts, you may open the Tools menu, go to Work Order, enter an odometer reading here under odometer and then hit select apply in this example we have a fault code you see the engine is displaying a fault code with the, the button being lit up we can go to DTC's this is the fault code that is being displayed a P0128 coolant temperature below thermostat regulated temperature and you can select on this DTC to get any available freeze frames in this case we have no freeze frames this section uh, indicates your mode 6 tests and you'll see that a couple of tests have been run on this vehicle the results the mi maximum minimum and the result Going over to the gauges tab, you'll see that you have your RPM, coolant temperature, oil pressure, road speed, battery, temperatures. Any temperatures that are being recorded will, will be indicated here. At DTCs again, fault codes. To print the fault codes, select File print DTCs. Monitor tab. This is for monitoring live PIDs. In OBD2, the check mark on the left will be the PIDs that will be updated. If you do not check a PID, it will not be updated from its initial value. If you select a PID in the graph, it will automatically be selected to be monitored. To monitor all PIDs, you can select the box at the top, which will check all of the boxes in the PID list, allowing all PIDs to be updated. This will slow the program down. If you want a fast response, only select the PIDs that you will be monitoring. If you note a delay in the actual engine response and the graph, you can compensate by reducing the OBD2 request delay or actually increasing it by sliding it to the left. This increases the millisecond delay for the OBD2 request which will give you a better response. Here you'll see you have a check engine light on the dash. Then the readiness tab. The readiness tab is uh, the onboard self-test, DTC counts, distance since uh, traveled with the check engine light on, distance since the or time since the DTCs have been cleared. Now this is an important screen because here uh, emissions control uh, it uses this information to determine whether you have just erased codes or how long it's been since you've erased codes if you go in for an emissions testing uh, for regulated uh, government uh, testing. HD emissions do not apply for OBD2, HD trip does not apply for OBD2, HD fuel does not apply for OBD2 and extended graphs does not apply for OBD2. There are some tests that you can run for OBD2. Select OBD2 slash CAN. You can print your test results which are these mode 6 tests. You can run an evaporative system test or if you have a diesel you can run a DPF forced regeneration provided that the engine is up to operating temperature 
and the conditions are right. If the conditions are not correct, this will not initiate a forced regeneration. This is to prevent damage to the system or to the vehicle. You can print your graph, export the graph to an image on your hard drive, copy the graph to the clipboard, which is handy for uh, doing up a, a report, for example, in Word. Copy the gauges to the clipboard. That will copy this image to your clipboard, again, for uh, working in Word or some Word processor, uh, giving you the ability to paste the image into the document. Print your DTCs, that's your fault codes. View the history of the vehicle that you just scanned and export the uh, monitor tab to Excel. This will export all of the information into an Excel spreadsheet. Viewing history is used to view uh, any past record on this particular vehicle identification number. You can type notes. For example, if you're changing a sensor and you're not sure if that's going to cure the problem, you can type a note in here that uh, the sensor was changed. Uh, keep under observation. Um, and the next technician that looks at this vehicle can bring up and see your note. Erase the codes. You simply click onto this button, which will erase the uh, active codes or restored codes for this vehicle. We also have an erase all fault codes button in all modules. This button is used is a universal button. It'll use work to erase all of the fault codes in all of the modules, regardless of whether they're active or inactive. Of course, active codes will come back immediately. Uh, and in most cases, when you erase ABS codes, the ABS light will stay illuminated until you drive the vehicle for a certain distance to reset the, uh, the uh, ECM.